What's up guys, welcome to my review of Uncharted Lost Legacy. Hope you guys have all been well. This is just going to be a quick review of uh, just some of my thoughts and what I thought about this game, going into it, how I felt playing it and afterwards. And I hope this gives you a little bit of an insight as well. A couple of you guys uh, said on my Instagram that you, you were thinking about playing it. We haven't played it, so I won't spoil the game. Or at least I'll try not to. And I hope you guys... Uh, go away with a couple of thoughts about if it's something you're going to play or not. Okay. So I went into this game thinking it was like a, a full a full size game. It's not. It's actually a DLC that's been sort of extended out to the point where it got so long for a DLC it was turned into a game by itself. I didn't know that. I was expecting like a 20-24 hour game but it actually it took me about like five to eight hours roughly to complete and I didn't go into full depth with everything but if you just play it through simply and just straightforward just uh, the main storyline I think you, you could knock it over in about five and a half to seven hours I reckon easily so it's not a full game by any means I think that's really important to note uh, don't expect a full game and I feel like the story you can also tell in the story it, it, it really isn't a full game because the story lacks quite a lot there's really not much depth to it at all i thought it was going to be like all the uncharted games where you you walk away and you feel like you know you really want to play it again in the future or it was a great game but it's actually not like that it, it's got all the uncharted elements all the uncharted gameplay that you would you would have seen in uncharted uh, 4 but it's it's it lacks in story quite a lot so it, it it's a very interesting mechanic so i think as long as you know what you're getting yourself into you'll have a fun time playing it but for me i thought it was going to be like uncharted 4 and i was quite disappointed so just to talk about the environment first i really really like the environment if you're used to playing uncharted series it's it's really no different it's got the big open scenery the island vibes this is all set in an indian jungle a little bit of a, an indian city there as well but not too much of it at the start but most of it the thicker the story is all in the jungle and you get a lot of ruin type vibe to it which gives you it gives off a little bit of a tomb raider vibe as well so that's that's the scenery i thought it was really good the scenery was like any naughty dog game they they do sceneries very very well and they put a lot of uh, attention to detail in there as well so hats off to them for that i thought the scenery was really great the levels were not too hard but they were still uncharted like if that makes sense. If you played Uncharted 4, everything's basically, the designs of the levels are very similar to what you could expect. So for example, uh, the puzzles, some of the puzzles are very similar. The way you sort of interact with the world is very similar. All the buttons and the controls are similar. Some of the elements from the previous game, like the red Jeep that's in there as well, it's very, it almost seems like it, it is a DLC. It shares a lot in common with Uncharted 4. So attaching on to Attaching on to what I just said there, it, everything is unchanged from Uncharted 4. It just sounds, it sounds like it's been, there's nothing new done at all. It's, it's all just taken from, all the elements are taken from that previous game, which I guess helps speeds along the process. They weren't, I guess, trying to make a new game. Uh, it was supposed to be a DLC, but I, again, I went into it thinking that it was a new game. So I was expecting something better than Uncharted 4, but I was quite wrong. So that kind of left a sour taste in my mouth. But as long as you guys know that going into it, you guys won't find that an issue at all. The the story follows two characters. So you got Nadine and you got Chloe. I think Chloe was in one of the first game, one of the first few games of Uncharted. I didn't play the first few games, so I don't really know what her role was. But you basically just follow uh, Nadine and Chloe. And the journey is basically those two not getting along. And then they're trying to sort of fight their own personal stories and moving their characters along as well like that's pretty much it they're, they're, they're just growing the characters uh, opening up their visions a little bit the characters come to more of an acceptance about their past so it's very a uh, cliche it's nothing fresh it doesn't feel new uh, there's no like i was saying earlier there's no depth depth to it it's just a very simple simple story and i think where it really is targeted is it's really in targeted it's really targeted towards uncharted gameplay fans like people who really like that gameplay that scenery that's who it's really targeted for again i thought it was going to be best if it was like a if it came with uncharted for like a dlc it is long for a dlc but to purchase it as a new game it i don't know it just kind of felt weird in my opinion is it replayable i 
that's tough. I look, I I don't think so. I don't think you'd replay this. I think if you had no games to play and you're really trying to fill in your time, I think you'd replay it. I think it's one of those games you kind of just play once and then you just maybe talk about it once or twice if it comes up in a conversation somewhere. But it's not really something you talk about it or like you know you want to play again. Or it's really hard for me to recommend it as well. Like if it's on special or sale or something like that, yeah, that's fine. I think the year I'm playing it, I think you can't get it full price anyway. It's, it's you know you'd be picking up second hand, or if it's new, it's like significantly reduced in price. Which is fine, I think like, in here in Australia, I think it's like a dollar per hour of gameplay. That's how much the game's worth valued, valued at, which is fine. But it's not something that you would want to play or really look forward to. It's decent, and that's all I can really say. Out of 10, if I was to give it a rating, I'd probably give it... Oh jeez, I'd probably give it like six and a half to seven out of ten it's really underwhelming it's got good gameplay mechanics and it's nothing less for naughty dog but i don't know for me i i really needed a story i needed there were times in the game where i was just wondering why like what's going on or what the story is or when the story is going to pick up it really doesn't i don't know that's just my opinion i'd love to know what you guys think if you guys watch the play if you watch my playlist uh, i'd like to know what you guys thought of the game or if you played it you know what would you give it at 10 please do comment below and i hope i hope this has been helpful i hope uh it hasn't spoiled anything for you guys and uh, i hope it uh shapes if you think you'll play it or not i hope uh i haven't undersold it either <laughs> anyways i hope you guys take care and i'll see you guys in my next series take care bye <laughs> Worth it? Oh, impressive. Yeah. No. Oh. How do we get off this thing? <laughs> <laughs>